That person is singing with their tongue up. That is weird. Why are they doing that? <laughs> that is really strange. Nobody can sing like this. It is just not feasible and really not practical. Now, is it? Do -ka -do -a. Hi folks, I'm Voba. I'm a singer and a vocal trainer and this is my channel about anatomical vocal training. I want to talk about the tongue today. The tongue can have many funny, interesting shapes. It's a muscle that can really bend your imagination <laughs> with its shape. So, right, you can have a tongue here, you can have a tongue here, 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 uh, uh, uh. Mm, there's a lot of interesting things and shapes um, that your tongue can take. Now, many, many uh, vocal teachers teach that it's very important to have the tongue low, to always have the tongue there, to have the tip of the tongue even touching the front teeth and kind of like stay there. Mm, there are a few problems with that. But let me first talk about the perks of singing with a high tongue. <coughs> what do you mean with the high tongue? Yes, with the high tongue. Meaning that your tongue is kind of like in the middle of your mouth rather than, rather than down there. It's kind of like free, right? It's free in the middle of the mouth. Now, if your tongue was supposed to always be tight to your to the tip of your uh, teeth, then Mother Nature would have built you that way. Mother Nature did build you that way. Mother Nature built you in a way that your tongue can be freely in your mouth when you speak. Yes. <coughs> Three reasons why it's healthy and good to speak and sing with a high tongue. <coughs> Reason number one. <coughs> if your tongue goes up from a flat position to a high position, then obviously it pulls the entire connective tissue up with it. <coughs> um, your throat, the, the, the inside walls of your throat, is like one thing, right? They're all connected. So when the tongue goes up, it pulls the material, the flesh up, and then your vestibular folds are pulled slightly upwards as well. The vestibular folds sit in the throat, um, just above the vocal cords. And when they are raised up, they are raised away from the vocal cords, which is very important. I explain that why in detail in this video. But it's very important for your vocal health so that you don't get sore because when vocal cords and vocal folds rub against each other, that's what makes you sore. Basically, it keeps you healthy. It, you don't get sore because the two don't rub against each other. The second reason for the it being good that the vocal cords are away from the vocal folds is the laryngeal ventricle opens. When that ventricle opens, it gives you, or rather, it, it raises the volume of certain overnotes, overtones in your voice. I will make a video in depth about that and maybe connect it here one, once it's done. But the important thing is that the, the space um, between vocal cords and vestibular folds opens you will have a, a resonance around 2,800 to 3,200 Hz that is increased in val uh, volume and that adds to your sound a few amazing qualities. And that is already perk number two. The formant, the singer's formant is what it's called, these frequencies, because no instrument really has these frequencies. Apart from, of course, um, like synthesizers, they can raise the frequencies. But like if you have an acoustic gig, for instance, um, no instrument has this, uh, this frequency uh, raised in you know, the, the spectrum of their frequencies. 
And so the, your voice can carry over instruments and entire orchestras with that little space opened. And the third perk is that your articulation and your pronunciation is going to be much, much faster. Of course, when the tongue always is way down there, and then you have to raise it for n, t, d, l, 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 for any, you know, consonant, then if the constant is just a longer way, then if it's there already up there, and then you can just and simply do the <laughs> the the way is just shorter for the consonants like l n t t t d b doesn't matter but whenever your your um, tongue has to create a consonant with the palate in conjunction with the palate then obviously it's going to be much faster when the distance between tongue and palate um is shorter. That's why it's very, very good um, to actually raise your tongue or at least have it free in the mouth when you speak and sing so that your voice can be and stay healthy and also you have a fast and very clear pronunciation. And yes, the palate, you raise the palate. I explain in this video how to raise the palate and how, how to get it away from the tongue. In my next videos, I'll show some exercises how to train your tongue to actually do that and also how to have a fast and clear pronunciation so that your tongue becomes very strong and very fast. Wishing you a good day. Please like and subscribe my video and channel if you like the content. I see you when I see you.